What's up guys, Connor here, and today I want to give you some advice on how to rank for your company or brand name on Google. Now, this is something I've had difficulty with with some clients. Um, so, for example, I've got four websites I've built, well, sorry, four clients I've built websites for. Um, we've got iPark Smart, iPark Services, well, actually, three clients, two websites, one client. Um, one soft bathrooms at the top. And my own site, Corbin Creative. So as you can see, the four websites that I've done, all of them rank first for the brand names. Um, and there was a bit of a process I had to go through to, to get that. So I'm gonna go through some of the tips um, that I use to, to rank for number one. So here's the basic foundations. And the first one is a domain, which Google says it isn't the most, uh, the biggest ranking factor, but I've found, and from my experience, whatever your URL is, this thing here, or your domain, it tends to have a lot of effect on SEO. Um, so as you'll see here, Copen Creative, I've got that in my URL, domain name, and the rest of them, the word I'm trying to run for, the, the, the brand name is in the domain, so that helps a lot. The second one is hidden tags. So we go to iPack Services, See the H1 iPark Services Limited. So the keyword is in the H1 tag. And in web design, you get uh, a certain amount of hidden tags, they're called. So you get a H1, that's your main hidden, and you should only have one of them per page. So make sure you've only got the one H1 tag on that page. And another bit of advice as well, make sure your homepage for your website is focused on ranking for the brand, like for your brand name, for your company name. Um, a lot of time people try and get their homepage uh, target many other keywords when really your homepage should be the center and it should rank for your brand name. Um, so yeah, we've done that, the H1 tag. Next is the meta and meta title and the description, the meta description. So you see here, this is the meta title. Um, iPark Smart Limited in there as well and that's the meta description. I've done it for the same as well. I've asked services, got it in there. I just don't have it in one stop. And well, it's in the title for one stop and it is in the title for mine, just not in the meta description. But yeah, that's a big factor, making sure you got it in your, your titles, your meta titles and your descriptions. So the next one is make sure you mention it somewhere in the first 200 words. So for example, on mine, um, we've got it up here and we've got it down here as well. So just make sure you have it like don't, uh, the key thing to do as well, a lot of people make the mistake of over stuffing the keywords, so putting it in too many times. Don't put it in too many times. A, a few times is enough, as long as you've got it in your main heading tag, and you've got it in your URL, and you've got it in your, your meta title, that's all you need and once in your words. You don't need to uh, force it in to places where it doesn't need to be. At the end of the day, Google looks for a, uh, genuine websites that read well and that are good. So if you generate a better user experience, Google is gonna rank your website higher. So if you're not getting results from that, 90% of people, if you've got a, if your name is sort of unique enough, you will get results just by, by doing that. You will rank for your home, um, for your brand name because people searching for you, um, when they click on there, they'll Google will see people pl spending plenty of time on that site because they've found your website and it's the right result. It's like it's all about search intent. So if people are searching for you to find you, Google will realize that and it will give you um, that boost in the search rankings and put you at number one. However, there's sometimes where maybe somebody has a similar brand name to you, there's a very popular blog post with your brand name in or something. That there's a page there with a lot more competition that sometimes you have to um, you know, do a bit of extra work to outrank them. I had an issue with that with iPark services and there's another company called Just iPark, but I'll show you that example soon. Um, so what you'll need is an SEO tool to figure this out. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to an SEO tool. I'm just gonna use Hrefs here um, for this example. There's Uber Suggest, there's Moz, there's SEM Rush. There's another one I've been using called SE Ranking. There's plenty of keyword uh, tools out there, some free ones, paid ones. Um, however, I would recommend it. Hrefs, you can get a free trial, which is very good. You can do the research you need and then just cancel the trial. 
Um, so here, for example, iPark services. So what you'll get as well, if you've got variations of your name that people type in, um, you want to rank for all them variations as well, ideally. So the problem I had, even though it's iPark services, some people will search iPark to get to this website. So then we weren't ranking first for this for quite a while. Um, so as you can see here, I've went on the Keyword Explorer, that's what it will be called on your SEO tool. Um, and then I've searched for iPark. And you can see here the competition, it says easy, so you need a few links from other websites and you need good content, which is what I've been working on and building up. So you see that here, um, yeah, number one, iPark services is the result for that. I just want to test some other ones, so iPark space, yeah, lower difficulty, and I'm ranked one for that again. So yeah, if you get that, um, that, that, that's, that will tell you, sorry, that will tell you the... Um, the difficulty. So if you search your brand name, whatever it is, so let's just do a big one for example. If we went to Coca Cola, yeah, super hard, 79. So as you can see, sometimes you've got to be realistic. If your brand name is 79, unless you've got billions and billions of dollars, you're not going to outrank Coca Cola for that. So sometimes you do have to change your, your approach or your brand name. So that's what the SEO tool will give you. It'll give you some uh, information on the difficulty and how realistic it is if you want to rank for that word. So the next tip, you need to check your website for any technical errors. Um, so for example, if we go to the site audit tool, um, sorry, the SEO tool, on most SEO tools, they have like a, a site audit feature where it tells you if there's any technical problems with that. Also on the Google search console as well, it will tell you if you've got any technical issues. So what you want to do is, as you can see, I'll go on the site audit here, 100%. If it's not 100%, you'll click on it, and it will bring you a list of errors down here that you need to add. You see I've still got some minor errors that I need to change. Um, and it will give you a list of minor errors that you need to change and add and update your site with. Also, you can check the page speed as well. So if you go to this site, Page Insights, um, and put in your URL, you can see 70 is good for mobile, um, desktop 97. So if your page speed is in the red on any of these two, then that could be a big factor what's causing your website to go down in the search rankings. And there's numerous ways you can fix this. Um, there's plenty of tutorials online depending on the website platform you're using, or you can hire someone to fix them for you. But it's definitely a must. If you've got low page speed, it's definitely causing lower rankings. So the next step is you might need to generate some backlinks. If you've got like a new domain um, and you don't have any other websites linking to that domain, um, Google won't have as much trust in your website um, as maybe the other websites that have links and that are at the top of the results. So what you want to do is it's it's a natural sort of process. You, you, can, you can go hard or you can do it naturally. If you've got a social media, um, if you've got clients that you work with, regular clients or people you're associated with, ask for links to your website. Um, if people write articles about you or you're in the news, ask for a link to your website there. Um, put your website on directory listings uh, like Yelp, um, what are the other ones, Google My Business, any place where you can put a link to your website, your social media profiles, make sure you do that and just build up that website authority. Um, which is very, very important. Um, the next one is if you're, you're still struggling, what you want to do is specify maybe something more. So if it's a really hard uh, name to rank for, maybe specify your location. So for example, if there's a, so for me, for example, if there was a Corbin Creative in the United States, I would specify I was in the UK. So then I would rank higher in the, the United Kingdom results instead of the United States results because there's different rankings for, your ranking different, um, sorry, your rankings are different for different countries. So specify your location, even in different areas, specify your location if that's something that will make you stand out. Also as well is if you've got a, a unique factor about you as well. So for example, if um, someone has the same brand name as you but they're a, I don't know, let's just say they're a marketer and you've got the same brand name, but you're a, I don't know, you're a plumber 
then what you want to do is you want to put something about plumbing in your title or change up something like add that to your brand name as well if the, if the competition is too hard. And then another way as well, which you can do it yourself, you can generate content and build a, a blog yourself as well. It's a lot of work and a lot to learn, but what happens is a lot of businesses, the majority of businesses don't have a blog on the website and a blog is very good for SEO and getting higher in the Google search ratings because, because Google can see you're putting out content frequently, they're gonna give you more authority because you're more of an authority figure in that um, in your industry. So definitely building a blog or generating content is a great one. Or if you've got big social media platforms or you can easily scale on social media, build up your social medias and link to your website. That should get you um, higher in the searches as well. So what if it's too difficult? You've tried everything, you're building a blog, you put the content and you just can't rank for your keywords. Sometimes you've got to be realistic. SEO can be a money game sometimes. Um, and that's fine. All types of marketing are. Um, there are different ways you can get around it, but you are going to have to spend money. And if that company has a bigger budget than you, um, you've got to be realistic about it, basically. Um, if So, for example, if, you, if your brand name has Nike in it or something like that or Adidas, then you're going to have to be realistic unless you've got billions of pounds you're not gonna outrank them. So sometimes you'll maybe have to change your brand name or change your approach or look for other forms of outreach. You don't have to do SEO. Um, if you're too far into your like brand name, so you're too deep with your brand name and you can't change it now, then look at ranking for other keywords, other services that you offer. Um, just have a more in-depth research of, of, of keywords and see if there's a keyword out there that you'll be better ranking for. Um, or, like I say, look at other forms of outreach, maybe social media is better for you, maybe an offline outreach, a, a market event or something like that is better for you. So definitely there's always options out there to market your business, you've just got to be realistic with what you choose. And that's all for today guys, I hope this helped, if you've got any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I'll see you next time.